Hi, this is Nellie Dewich and I'm on MoodleForTeachers.com. I'm going to show you how I'm going to change the theme. So right now it's just an ordinary theme and I want it to be a bit more appealing. So this is what I'm going to do. Go into Appearance under Administration and then scroll down and go to Team Theme Selector. And I'm going right now, you can see it's boost. I'm going to change that to, let's see if it's here. I see I've got, you have to be really careful that your themes, I don't have the themes that I want. You have to be careful that your themes are compatible with uh, the latest. This Moodle is 3.8, so I wanna make sure that I'm not breaking things up because you could lose your site. You can get it back, of course, but it's very unpleasant and kind of scary. So I'm going to go in and get some plugins. Go into the plugins, install plugins, go into moodle.org, log in. Should get an account here. There are different ways of logging in, which I like, because every way works if it's the same email, of course. And then I'm going to go into the version that I have is 3.8. I'm interested in themes. That's TH theme. So let's search. And what I'm, I've tried most of these. These are all compatible with 3.8. And I am going to go for a guru because I know it works and it really looks good. I mean, they're limited in their colors. That's 3.6 and I want 3.8. Right, install it. Make sure that you get the right one. And my site is moodleforteachers.com, this one, 3.8. Notice I still have a few 3.6s that I have to upgrade. The reason I'm stuck is because of the essential theme, which I really like. I'm having a hard time giving it up, but I'm going to have to at some point because you do need to upgrade your Moodle sites for its own sake, of course. Okay, so let's continue with this. I know that a guru works because I tried it on another site. Make sure that you have a testing site, a site, a Moodle site that you can play around with, try it out. And if anything goes wrong, you can always go back to a backup. But in a site that's out there, I wouldn't take any chances. I would first play around, test it out, and then upgrade it and use the theme of your choice. Notice I have a few updates here, things that need to be updated. So. Uh, let me upgrade everything. That's going to take a little bit of time, depending on your server and connection. This is a working site. It's for teacher practice, specifically for managers of a Moodle site. So there it is, and the color that I want is blue. That's my personal favorite. Let's see what else I can do here. I'm going to make all these changes later on. Just going to copy it from my other site. It's really easy to hand, either to use. They're the social networks, and it looks really good. All right, so here it goes save the changes and I'll get back to it. But that's not it. Okay, you still have to, um, okay, let's save change. You still have to go back and select it because just the fact that you've added the plugin, installed the plugin, doesn't mean that you will see it. Okay, so notice uh, my version is 3.8.1 and the latest is two, so I'll have to upgrade that. Let's see if there are any other updates that I need to do beforehand. Make sure that I'm up to date, except for the um, version. But you don't have to 
hurry with that one. It's only 8.2 plus. All right, so everything's up to date. Uh, so now let's go back to the site administration and we're going to go into appearance and themes. This time we're going to go into theme selector and select our theme. So right now we have boost. We're going to click on change and look for our choice, which is a guru. Click on use theme. Wait a few seconds. Scroll down, continue. And go on to the next one, to the legacy. Click on change. Choose a guru. And continue. We've got two more to go. There's uh, mobile. Click on change. Go on to use guru and continue and the last one is our tablet click on change go for it go continue there we go now we can make the changes now it appears okay there's the dashboard okay now i'm going to make all the changes i want to show you what it looks like after i've made the changes on my other site so this is what it's going to look like. Let me just log out so you get a better view. I really like it, actually. It's the cloak. Well, it's compatible, and that's nice. So I took out the social market. There's a market here, and everything's all set up. Okay, there are three slides right now. You can have up to about 12, which is nice. And uh, that's the name, Moodle Manager Training, the login, the courses that are available right now there are other courses but that's my top menu about the sides training teacher training and that's it if you have any oops if you have any questions that's if you want to donate so that's what I'm gonna do so that it looks like this of course you can change the photos and that's it let me know if you uh, are curious about anything else that you'd like to do on your Moodle site thank you and remember subscribe right now thank you